Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 5 of our Let's Play of Until Dawn. Oh, I'm so excited. So, um, you might notice, if you've been listening to all of these episodes, that uh, I sound a little bit different in this particular episode. That's because I am clean shaven today. Um, previously, I had about a week's worth of uh, facial hair going on, but totally smooth today. I feel it's completely altered my voice. Yep, and as you can tell, it's uh, just completely changed his voice. He's much less manly now. Um, no. That's that's how beards work. You, you sound shaved. smoother. You shaved years of, like, manpower off your face. <laughs> it sounds like I took a ball with it. Like I was shaving my balls and one of them just straight up got snipped off. Isn't that what you were talking about? No. Oh. I mean, maybe. Who knows? Okay, we'll talk, though. <laughs> Did I manscape? <laughs> Nobody knows. All right, David. Do you manscape? Let's get this out of the way early on the channel. Uh, do we have to? Nah, we don't have to. Yes, I do. Good. Good. Look, here's the thing. When you trim the bushes, the tree looks bigger? No, it's not that. I mean, that may be true, but... Really, just like, just in everything in life, like your whole appearance, anything that other people may at some point see, you just want to look presentable. It's not like body hair is gross. It's not like either men or women are obligated to, you know, to shave or anything, but I feel like just, just keep yourself looking nice. Okay, all right. I think that's reasonable. Um... Also, just on, on the topic of the, the game, Yeah. how fucking dumb is Mike? Yeah, like, okay, so we've already discussed, you would never have chased after this thing to begin with. Nope, I'd be making hot cocoa right now. Hope yeah. she's okay. But like, at this point, the chase is over. He found Jess, she fell down into the mines. This right here, chasing after this guy, this is all ego. This is gratuitous at this point. Yeah, he should have just, he should have been like, oh, well, too bad for Jess. Oh, yeah, you don't want to go up on that. Yeah. I'm out haunted on that. Yeah, I better head back and warn the others. I mean, if that were an option, I would pick that. Yeah, it's not, though. <sighs> why, why would you go through the spooky sanatorium? There's, there's never anything good in the spooky sanatorium. No, no. Any, okay, so, I mean, real talk, even if it weren't spooky, this is just a hazard. An old building Of like gaming. Oh, <laughs> a sick reference, man. Oh, man. Fuck. That, it doesn't get any better than that. Please like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> um, it's just, no, like, old buildings like this, you're gonna, something's gonna collapse on you. You're gonna scrape your knee and get tetanus. You're gonna get your body taken over by some sort of mountain demon. That can also happen in real life and in video games. It's true. Dude, the uh, the Winnebago or whatever these are called are based off of uh, real events. It's a Canadian something, isn't it? Canadian myth. Is it? I think, yeah, the Wendigo is a Canadian myth. Oh, I was bullshitting. Up so. in the uh, yeah, up in the Canadian mountains, there's like legends about people who have gone savage and resorted to cannibalism. Wow! And because of that, they turn into like big. I think in the original things, they're like kind of yeti type creatures, big hairy snow monsters. Oh, so all these guys are Canadian? They are. That oh. is canon. Sick. Mike's I bet Canadian. I bet they have like all of the hookups for poutine. Isn't poutine like a uh, paid sex worker? <laughs> uh, <laughs> depending on which episode appears on our channel first, <laughs> that joke <laughs> may or may not be a repeat. Ah. Uh. If you haven't heard me say that before... Is, yeah. this the, is this the second time we've talked about poutine today? Yes, it is. Oh, shit! I love poutine. Let's just... Let's talk about it some more. Yeah, should we make some... I bet I could whip us up some poutine. Dude, I would be like... Like, I'm, I'm a pretty straight guy, but like... 
poutine is a way to make me question that. Like me making you poutine? Anyone, or, really. Just What if a girl made you poutine? I, I, Are you suddenly like, I'm suddenly questioning my sexuality. It's interesting. Yeah, poutine just like makes you inherently gayer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. At least for me. I can dig it. Okay, seriously, Mike, just give up, dude. I don't... He's committed at this point, and we're committed. Yeah. I just... What are you planning to accomplish? You're alone in a tank top, in the mountains, in the cold. There were wolves here? You saw the wolves? I... God, I just... I know there are jump scares coming, and I don't... I don't want to be here, David. But we are here. In the dark. At night. The <laughs> at night? Yeah. The only time we play this uh, particular game for the channel is at night and in the dark. Proper. Yep. We've got the, the curtains drawn and the lights are out. and Yeah. The only thing that would be better is if we had the curtains open and I had paid our neighbors to like... To like watch us make out? I, I mean, I was um, going to it, say do creepy things. It, <laughs> me too. Sorry, it was like a weird Freudian slip. Um, so anyway, what's what's behind this like door here? Um, this is the chapel. Oh, a chapel. Uh -huh. See, there are wolves <laughs> and a man. That's where I keep my uh, my wolves. In a chapel. Yeah. Wow. Jesus See, loves look. wolves. Look! 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 Mike sees the wolves. Mm -hmm. He sees the man. He's like, wow. And immediately, oh, let me check that door, see if it's open. Because if it is, I just want to walk in there and mingle with those wolves. Dude, he's just gonna... This, this is what's wrong with the American education system. Mike? It, like, Mike is what's wrong? Yeah, like, he's... You end up with people this dumb that are like, oh, my girlfriend fell down a mine shaft. Better check the scary sanatorium. Uh, better, better try and open the wolf door. I honestly, so I, as we've discussed, I've played this game before. Mm -hmm. I honestly do not know what he's doing here. Like, is he here to try to stop the guy? Is he trying to, like, capture or kill this guy so he doesn't kill more of his friends? Yeah, because, like, does, does he just think Jessica's dead? Because all he did was leave her in a mine shaft. No, he does. Like, later on, he'll make reference to that. He, she's alive at this point. Uh-huh. But he believes that she is dead. Oh, and okay. so it's like, what are you doing here? Is this like a revenge thing? Uh, 30 clock-in cards. Yeah. Yeah, so we probably won't find all of the clues that there are to be found in the sanatorium here. There are a lot of them. And they all deal with this group of miners back in 1952. Um, but, yeah, basically there are 30 uh, clocking cards there. Mm -hmm. But in other places you can find like newspaper clippings and stuff about how there was a cave-in in this... Turn it over. There we <laughs> go. There was a cave-in in this mine. Mm -hmm. And they found 12 miners. There's caves in the mines? That's super weird. Uh, there was a cave-in in the mine. Oh. A cave-in in the mine. Recursive. Yeah. Um, and so when they, and they, when they found the miners, they're like, oh, surprisingly, they were all in pretty good health. None of them showed any signs of, um, like, starvation. Oh. Yeah. That's and not so, a good thing. Yeah, they, they were munching on each other. We got some, like, uh, rugby team... Uh, plane crash in the mountain situation going on. Yeah. Yeah. As rugby teams do. Yeah. Rugby teams are known to eat each other when their planes crash in the mountains for like three months. I feel like you're making a reference to something. Is that... That's a true story. Is that a true story? I don't know. That's all not the... just a movie you saw once? I... That's not just your fanfic that you're writing? <laughs> well, it's not... Not the one that I'm writing. Um, but... any Anyway, no, it's... I think it's a... I think that's a real story. Oh, look at the sign there. The morgue is this way. Oh. Good, the morgue. Do we ever want to... Go to the morgue? Not no. Not visit the morgue in a horror game? I've I've already not... Can we not? Is it skippable? 
No, it's not skippable. God damn it. I don't want to go in the morgue. Okay, yeah. Uh huh. We're not going to read this, but you can if you pause the game. Uh huh. Lots of stuff, lots of stuff. Oh my god. And more stuff. One of these guys actually tried to bite me. Crikey! What? Why did you turn Australian? <laughs> that's what they sound like in Canada. What are you talking about? Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> Crikey, pass the poutine, mate! That was my Canadian accent. Don't mock it. <laughs> I'm speaking in an accent that's outside her range of hearing. You know, uh, Mila Kunis? I, I know of Mila Kunis. Um, I saw an interview with her once. She is adorable. She is. She was talking about how she only has, like, one accent. Like, her Russian accent. Uh-huh. And so, she'll be talking and, like, trying to make a Spanish accent. <laughs> and she's like, and it just goes to my Russian accent. And she's like, what? This is what they sound like. <laughs> what? Ole! <laughs> <laughs> Andale, andale. Oh. This, this machete looks familiar. I've just discovered that is the most difficultly impossible thing. What? Saying the wrong language's words in an accent. Okay. That is, that is stupid, trying to say Andale with a, uh, with a Russian accent. Andale. <laughs> wow, that was really good. <laughs> that, that was... That worked really well. Oh, hey, curtains. Curtains worked out for us last time. It's gonna be curtains for us. No, don't open it, David. What do you? Don't pause. Just do it. <laughs> I. I just... <laughs> oh man, we uh, should we should film ourselves playing these games at some point because to watch Jason squirm, it gives me so much delight. Just, David. Just fuck off. All right. So we found a torture chair. Uh huh. Is it the one I'm sitting in? Because this is literally <laughs> torture. It is, yeah. God. Alright, now I'm lost. I think we head down this way. Or maybe not. Maybe there's just more clues back here. I swear to God, if you're just leading me into more jump scares, I can't even... I can't even, David. You just can't even? I oh. can't even. Oh my God. I'm like... Oh, ah! oh, we are going in the right direction. I am, I am like a group of teenage girls. I just can't even... Do you know, do you know why girls go to the bathroom in in odd numbers? Because they can't even. <laughs> wow, wow, that's that's a high highbrow humor right there. Yep, that's the kind of next level jokes you can expect. Yeah, yeah, we went there. Wow, man, we like. How did we manage to tell the funniest joke? I in, know, already. In, like, the fifth episode of, of your first series. Yeah. Hey, it's this Spooky word, Skeleton. It's done, yeah. Hi, Mr. Skeleton. Mr. Skeletal. Oh. Ah. See, this is what I'm talking about with the camera switching. Jesus Christ. You think you're going one way, and then the camera switches, and then you're, like, going the wrong way. Jesus Christo. Say that in a Russian accent. <laughs> Jesus Christo. Wow. That was as good as mine. <laughs> I Oh, there's the torture chair again. Oh, good, the torture chair. Oh, it's got a thing we can examine. Did we already examine oh, it? Oh, was there? Oh, I think... Uh, there's like a little thing on it. There was a little thing on it. Uh, yeah, oh, see, yeah. Look at that. Maybe we missed that, but we're not going back for it. That's fine. Like I said, we're not... Our goal... Ah! Hey, oh, you oh, should, what's you this? Should, you should go grab it. No. You should... That thing looks friendly. No. Interact no. with it, no. David. No, I'm giving it a wide berth. The widest berth possible. No. It's a 10 pound baby. That's the kind of wide berth we're giving it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 All right, well. Let me show you something. Oh, I thought you interacted with it. Oh, no, Jesus. no. No, let me show you what happens if we interact with that. Ah. I think it's a guidance total. Oh! That is what happens if we interact with that. Oh, it's a bear trap? It is. And we don't have to. It doesn't affect the story. Huh. So, I'm gonna I'm skip oh, it. Oh, that's how that guy catches Winnebago's, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I guess if you want to know what that's actually for. Um, so, he... He takes, like, limbs of dead people. Mm-hmm. 
he um, sticks them there, and then when the Winnebagos come to try to take the food, mm-hmm. uh, it snaps, snaps and catches them. Oh, good. Oh, dude, no, 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 no fuck, fuck this. this. David, we're not opening shit in a morgue. Yeah, yeah, we are. Oh, see, it's just a okay. paper. You were scared of a paper. Dude, there's there's other things in these drawers. He's pulling them out so fucking slow. Oh, oh. God. Yeah, okay, uh. what is this? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Read, read, read. Yep, lots to read. Ah. This is just, um... Uh, like, people died. Um, like, staff people died. Um, by being attacked by these... These inmates, mm-hmm. not inmates, patients. No, 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 stop it, stop it. All right, is it going to come alive? No, probably not. Probably not. If it, oh, it's just a rat. That's fine. That's fine. That's not. But here's what we needed. This is the only one that we actually needed to open. Wait a minute. Oh, that's a chapel card. Okay, let's huh. check this out. Look at that. That's really sad that they didn't. That it wasn't like a giant spider because that's what we chose yeah. to be afraid of. Yeah. Oh, oh, what is that? Is that a third? Oh, a third one over here. Oh joy! There's a third one. Yeah. Oh, that's that's what I want. Are you ready for it? David, just fucking open. Oh my god. Oh, you can't see it from this angle. I don't want it. I don't want any of this. Here we go. I, I don't want this, David. It's just a toe tag. Ugh. Why did we go through this whole ordeal? For a toe tag. Good. It's a toe tag for Nicholas Bowen, who... Possibly on one of the documents we read, uh, is a doc- or was a doctor here. I believe he Aww. was killed by- I thought you said he was a dog. A dog. He was a dog. I was like, what a cute name for a dog. They don't give toe tags to dogs. I would to- I would pet the shit out of a dog named Nicholas, though. Nicholas Bowen? Yeah. Or is it Bowen? Because <laughs> Bow Wow. Bow Wow. Wow, that was <laughs> That's great. That uh And I've how expended did, all of my jokes. How did we tell two of the funniest jokes in the same episode? I don't know. Oh, we are just we are killing it. Yeah. Okay, right. we're in the chapel area. Oh good, creepy wheelchair. Yeah. Those are those never come back to haunt you. No. Okay. Now somewhere around here there's a scary dog. God, you little doggy bastard. No, doggo. Fortunately, no quick time events here. And fortunately this is the world's slowest dog. Yeah. Can't outrun Mike. That you could have closed uh, that door. Dude, literally any door. Just yeah. fucking close the yeah. door. Thank you. Nailed it. Uh, it's a dog. Yeah. You know, little known fact about dogs. Oh okay, good, this will be fun. No opposable thumbs. <laughs> it's you heard it here first. It's true. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know now that I'm thinking about it, every dog I've ever met. Doesn't have any thumbs. Yeah. I'm, I'm just piecing this together. Give a dog a, screw, a screwdriver. <laughs> you can't. They, it's, it's they, pro- they can't pick it up. Oh, man. That's that's interesting. I just I just sort of assumed that, you know, how you, like, you declaw your cat and you just de-thumb your dog. Like a fashion thing. Yeah. Or, well, you don't, like, declaw a cat for fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the highest fashion craze. Your cat is not declawed. Oh, that's so. That's so low not, brow. That's so not Vogue this year. Vogue is a word they use in, in fashion, right? Yeah, in Vogue, out of Vogue. Okay, dude, it's it's good that the left dogs. Vogue. Vogues are like wings in fashion. You've got left Vogue, right Vogue. All right, dude, it's it's good though that dogs don't have thumbs. They would have literally all of the power. That's true. How could we stop them? We wouldn't be able to. They would be adorable little doggos, but then they'd also be able to control handguns. Can you can you imagine how much scarier that would have how much worse that would have been if that if that dog had also had a handgun? <laughs> he had a handgun? Yeah. 
just, oh shit, what do we do? This dog also has a gun. If he had like a handgun and maybe like a cigarette sticking out the side of his mouth, he's like, hey. <laughs> give me the belly rubs. Give pork, me a, pork. Give me your money. <laughs> He's, he's a gangster dog, too. Yeah, give me the money. Real fast. Yeah, give me the money, see? <laughs> see? <laughs> give me your bones. Okay, back away. Oh, you don't approach him? Not yet. Not yet. We need to go. We need to get a bone. I just want to get some bones. Yeah, I was trying to walk toward the bones. Um, but then I got confused. Do you spook him if you get too close? He'll attack you, I think. Ooh. Yeah, so you need a bone. So first of all, when we first came in this room, notice that we had the option of punching him or kicking him. Mm -hmm. We did not. We didn't kick the dog. Yeah, don't kick dogs, folks. That's just facts. It's, that's good life advice. Yeah, because now, if, they, if they ever get their thumbs back, they will fucking come for you. That's true. Because dogs are also like lizards. They can grow limbs back. It's true. Or thumbs. It happens to their testicles, too. So, like, you just need to keep castrating them. Not castrating. That's not the worst. Hold on. Neutering? Yeah, that one. Don't castrate your dogs. <laughs> Spay or neuter your pets. Don't castrate them. <laughs> Isn't it, like, roughly the same? I mean, roughly? <laughs> oh, that, that was good. I didn't even mean that one. Uh where were my testicles, Summer? Okay, see, now we can pet him. Now we're friends. Oh, we made dog friends. Yay. Oh, what should we name him? Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. Oh, 10 out of 10. And there's another one, too. There's a black wolf. He can be 3D. Nice. I like it. All, All right. I'll allow it. We've got Wolfenstein in 3D. And a jacket. Oh, sick which, jacket! Which we need because we are we are cold. We are freezing. That's true. That's a fucking sick jacket. Yeah, good. Put out an eye with how pointy our, our nipples are right now. Well, we we know Mike puts out. That's true. Come on. He's banged three of the cast members. Emily. Jess. Mike? <laughs> Mike? Himself? <laughs> yeah. Mike's Mike's probably gotten to at least third base with Mike. <laughs> um, I'm not wrong. No? No, you're not. <laughs> I was going to make another joke there, but... No, go ahead. Uh, we're past it. Wits, the moment's gone. Uh, yeah. Stogie stash exposed. Oh, oh yeah. so look at that. And this is what we saw earlier. So this is the lair of flamethrower guy. Do mm -hmm. you think he, like a badass, um, lights his stogies on his flamethrower? Um, or with his flamethrower? Well, a, a stogie is what is left when the cigar is done, so... Do you think... Okay, um, hard cut. Do you think he lights his uh, cigars? On his flamethrower? I bet he does. Yeah. Having heard that question for the first time, it's an interesting one. <laughs> that was smooth, Matt. Thanks. Yeah, they bought it. Yeah. I appreciate that you got my back. I, I, dude, I'll always have your back. And your front. Uh, anyway, so what's going on in this church here, though? What about my sides? Always. Dude, I'm all about, I'm all about that, like, side action. Side to side? Yep. By Ariana Grande. Dude. Sick Ariana Grande references. I know. Dude, she is adorable. I think we've discussed her on this Let's Play before. I think we... Maybe it was on Portal. It, we, we, she's gonna come up a bunch of times on this channel. I'm absolutely in love with Ariana Grande. Who would you say... Now, not in a, an objectifying sort of way. We're very respectful here on Hazards of Gaming. Mm -hmm. But who would you say your celebrity... Your like, primary, first and foremost, like, celebrity crushes. Ah. Uh, so, can we disregard Emma Watson because, like, that's too obvious? Sure. Okay, so other than Emma Watson, because that's 95% of, I mean, men and women, let's be real. Um, 
I think it is Ariana Grande. Like, oh, yeah. I, I, she is just like, I love her voice. I love her sense she's of style. She's very talented. Yeah. She's very talented. She's super sassy and down to earth in interviews. Like, man, man, am I jealous of uh, Big Sean? Are they, they together? They were. Oh. Okay. They were. They're not anymore. Um, well, now's and, your moment, man. Yeah. To my knowledge, Ariana Grande is uh, is single. And. Uh, <laughs> If you're listening, Ariana Grande. Uh, and we know you are. We know. Let's be real. Um, just go ahead and post down in the comments if you're, uh, if you're interested. Because I'll take you out to dinner. If all you've seen of Jason is his um, uh, artistic interpretation on our site where he is dressed like Link. I can... Trust me, he is just as good looking. I R L. Dude, I can I can show up dressed as Link just in case you're worried. Like, I got that costume ready to go. Also, Mike, you're an idiot. Yeah. And you, also, like, look, he doesn't notice. It's like, okay, just go through. Oh, it's okay. Oh, there's fire. Me. Oh, I didn't even notice. Oh shit! And dead. Just yeah. straight up dead. And that's how Mike dies. All right. All right. Oh, where are we at now? Uh, we're with the psychopath. Hey, you creepy fuck. And it looks like... Uh, um, what did he just do? Matt and Emily. Oh, he locked the gate. Oh. See if we try to open it. Hey, it's locked. The hell who did that? Then there's some oh. seriously uncool shit going on up here. All right. It is uncool. All right, but like real talk, mm -hmm. that's not a high gate. No. And, and he's the walls. an athlete. Yeah. Excuse me, sorry. I'm just gonna burp into the mic. Um, yeah, that's like shoulder height wall. You could, maybe not even that, once you're up, like, the slope a bit. Yeah, up on the snowbank. You like, just vault over that. God. I could do that, and I'm not an athlete at all. Well, I, I'm kind of an athlete. <laughs> you don't need to impress me. <laughs> It wasn't for your sake. I'm just gonna go rub against this tree a little bit. <laughs> I'm just gonna hum the tree for a bit. Yeah. No, I want. There's secrets. Stop. I don't even know what that is. What maybe, is that? Maybe it's blinking. Whoa. I don't think I've ever discovered this before. Wow. But it's still fresh. Yeah. There's a totem over here. That's what I came over here for. But then we also found red paint. Wow. What an adventure. Totems and paint? Yeah. It's just. It's a night to remember. Bam. That, oh. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. Fuck him. That is Matt dying. Wow. Incidentally, falling down the same cliff that killed Beth and Hannah. Really? Or Beth, at least. Really? Yeah, that's the same rock, even. Wow. That's an active rock. Yeah. Yeah. You've seen it two times now. Wow. It's kind of a celebrity on its own. Yeah, get that axe. This Pull is it the out. axe that was missing from the uh, the axe holder earlier. I. It's also a clue. Good. How's that a clue? It's an axe. Oh, Who's looking at that, that axe and like, oh, I've, ju I've just pieced something together. Matt, duh, we just saw him do that. Oh, God, David. Are you even watching the game? Good job, Matt. About... Look. Uh, that's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. God, she's such a bitch! I hate her. She could say all the same things, but in just a slightly different tone, and it wouldn't be as bad. No, you, you're going through the window. Good! Fuck her! You're gonna shove my ass through that little hole? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> it's a talent. Oh my god. Dude, like, I don't know what she's bitching about. Oh, that's plenty of room. Look at that, dude. Just oh, and it, it keeps going. Oh my god, dude! You could. Fit, I could fit through that. Yeah, you could fit like two and a half bodies through there. Yeah, dude. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. She's dude, that she's is not even easy. squeezing through. Yeah, you know Matt was enjoying that view though. Yeah, oh my I mean, god. it's the that's the most action he's got in this game. Yeah. 
And then she opens her mouth and ruins it all. Uh, I'm so pissed off all the time. <laughs> all right, I I kind of feel for her on that one. No, I'm I'm, I'm happy that she's. How do we? What are we doing? You're waiting for her to let you in. Oh. I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow! I did it. You did it. You opened a door. You're okay too. Man. Good. That's that's her 4.0 honor roll status, figuring out how to open doors. Yeah. Damn. Damn. What happened? Shit. Shit. We were here just a few hours ago. This must have just happened. What the fuck? Die, 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 die. 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 No, that's uh, German, I believe. It the 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 the. It's just someone with a stammer. You know that uh, that Simpsons joke, right? Is that a Simpsons joke? Yeah, uh, Sideshow Bob has Die Bart Die tattooed on his back. And they're like, he's in court, and he's like, no, that's actually German for the Bart, the. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, the Germans have always been trustworthy people. <laughs> that's true. That's true. They have been. Yeah, that's, they have a couple of rocky periods. Do we have any German listeners? If you're listening to this and you're German, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> uh, that's never going to get old. No, that's... Dude, pandering is great. Yeah. No cable car. So, back to square one. Matt, we need another plan. We can't just sit around and do nothing. Why don't you think of something, then? Matt, I'm a strong woman. I'm going to yell at you for everything. You need to come up with the plans. Me, me, me. Unfollow. <laughs> uh, that's the best line in no second best line in the game. The best line is, was your sluttiness too loud? Man, Emily has some good lines. But I just hate her. Yeah. I just I hate I hate her little stupid walk and the way she like You can tell she's one of those girls that like looks at her phone and like just to get your attention for something, it's just like <laughs> <laughs> like over and over again. She's just that dejected bitchy noise. Yeah. Well, it's not like we have any other options. Probably, yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio. We just gotta. No. I don't know, man. That could work. Does that decision matter? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, we're gonna head up to the tower. Mm-hmm. And on the tower, we will find a flare gun. If we agree with Emily there, mm -hmm. and she gives the flare gun to Matt, he will shoot it off immediately and waste oh. it. And I say waste it is uh, because if he has it at a certain point later, he'll be able to defend himself against a Wendigo attack. Interesting. Oh, so oh, so if you agree with her, just agree to go with her, Matt dies. Well, so there are ways to get around it. Um, which we're going to do, actually, because I am not going to give him the flare gun, so he's not even going to have the chance to fire it off. Oh, good. Also, like, why does she keep calling him meat for brains and shit when, like, all he's doing is being a good boyfriend here? Oh, he is. She is one of those people who will profess to like someone, but then is very, um, just derogatory toward them all the time. Just, and just like magic. Come on down don't do that, folks. If you like someone, even if you don't like someone, if you don't like someone, the best thing you can do is ignore them. If you do like someone, make them feel like they're liked. Yeah. Seriously, relationship advice from David. I know. This has been the uh, DK relationship hour. That'll be $500, please. Uh, sometimes, uh, when you're dating, compliment your partner. Yeah, Next topic, please. That's literally what I just said. <laughs> Unfollow, Jason. Aww. Unfollow. Unfollow. But David, you're, I think we might be each other's only followers currently. I don't follow Jason all, uh, anyway. Don't what, tell him. What's going on? What's, what's? Whatever. Nothing. That's... Nothing that... Uh, 
Nothing you need to know about. Nothing I didn't stumble over anyway. I'll just be over here tweeting into the void. If it doesn't work. Did you ever see that movie, Into the Void? But no, I didn't. If it doesn't I didn't either, but I heard that it's really just weird. I, uh, I don't even think I've heard of it. No. Should I have? No, because I hear it's just weird. Okay. I do like weird movies, though. Have you ever seen Cube? Nope. Dude, we should watch Cube. It's it's not a good movie. What's it about? Uh, so a bunch of people... I guess what it's about doesn't really matter, but, like, what makes it weird? Weird in what way? Uh, so it's, like, very low budget, mm -hmm. but very, like, very, like, aspirational goals. Because, like, okay. these people are captured and put in the cube. Uh, the, the large cube is made up of many smaller cubes that, like, rearrange themselves. And the point is, you need to escape the cube. Uh, you know what? Actually, I think I have heard of this before. I've I, definitely never seen it. It's, uh, it's not good. And then the second one is even worse. And it's called Cube 2 Hypercube. It's not cube cubed. No, it's not. I. Uh, that's that the third one. That's the prequel, actually. The the pre the prequel is just called cubed. Um, but yeah, no. The the second one, the sequel is Cube Two Hypercube, and they're in a four dimensional cube that they have to escape. Four dimensional. Four dimensional. Do you know that the whole world is in at least four dimensions anyway? Yeah. A four-dimensional cube is just a cube that exists in the regular world. Then it's five-dimensional, because this is it's four spatial dimensions, David. It was amazing. How can you visually, in a movie, portray four spatial dimensions? You can't. That's what makes it the best movie of all time. Or does it make it the worst movie? Oh. Okay, first of all, are you paying attention? I am. We I am. just found... Uh, Beth's phone that she dropped when she was trying to save her sister. Oh! It's still out here? It's been a year. I know, and they mention that. They're like, didn't the police make a sweep of this place? And they're like, yeah, I guess they did a shit job. They don't oh. say that exactly, but... Fortune totem. Yep. Chris, alive, stumbling into the house. Okay, that's a good sign. Yeah. We want that, because just prior to that is an opportunity for him to die. Oh. And this cliff that we're standing on right now, mm -hmm. this is the cliff where Hannah and Beth fell. Oh, this is Dan Cliff. To their deaths. Oh, that's ironic because... Guess what you're about to do, bitch. Yeah, we could actually. We can? Yeah, that totem... That shows Matt falling to his death. Do they both die? No, I think only Matt has the potential to die here. I don't know. Because, uh... I know you have an axe and could probably do something about these deer with it. Yes, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll talk about it when it happens. Oh, does that not happen now? No, we're gonna cut. Oh, look at you. I know. I know this game. Hey, I've played it before. I've seen it once or twice. Hey, we're back. And now we're sent. Oh, oh, can I? I'm trying to like oh. lean up just so I can see a little bit further uh. down. No. Whoa. Hey, buddy. That's that's creepy. It is. I mean, you know, I'm enjoying it, but he shouldn't be. No, that's <laughs> that's creepy. Just no, you don't. You don't creep on people. Out of curiosity, though, do you control the camera here at all, or is it just no reason, really? But no, sadly. Ah. Uh. What are you doing out there? Plus, even if we did, the water would probably be opaque. What with bubbles and such. Well, I mean, that's just that's just facts. It's just water. Like no one can see in through water. <laughs> Not even fish. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Have you ever had an aquarium and you see the fish just like bump into the glass? It's totally blind. It's because it can't see. Do you think crabs think fish are flying? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Whoa. You just blew my mind. <laughs> uh, we are recording this at 4.20 a.m. My clothes, really? <laughs> Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. 
Oh, off her Christmas list. Aww. But they left you a sock, Sam. You just stretch it out and wrap it around the the important bits. Hey, man, a single sock, that's all you need. That's all you need. <laughs> to... We've had a lonely Saturday night here or there, man. I know what you mean. I, I was talking about dressing herself. Besides, she doesn't really need a sock. I mean, just... <laughs> Girls have less cleanup for that. A couple of fingers will do. (laughs) Or several, I don't know. It depends. (laughs) Whatever she's into. (laughs) Um, Oh, shit. So, Um, we probably should have stopped that one a little earlier. (laughs) So, I... Speaking of masturbation... Uh, <laughs> Go on. I uh, I hope this is true. I really do. Um, did you know that the uh, the female equivalent of jacking off is called jilling off? Uh, I've never heard of that before, but uh, I can appreciate that. Uh, it's, it's not Jane. Jane enough. Chris. Well, it's not. Oh Jack no! Well, no, I guess it's Jack and Jill. I'm thinking John and Jane, like John Doe and Jane Doe. It's true. Let's go through. Uh, We'll go back and forth. And list our favorite slang terms for female masturbation. Flicking the bean! (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I I was just joking. (laughs) Oh, me too. (laughs) Is... uh, (laughs) Never mind. <laughs> okay. Holy crap. Moving on. Moving on quickly. I apologize to any family members listening to this one. Uh, but you know, everyone masturbates. That's true. <laughs> no shame. No shame. Yeah. It's, it's healthy. You yeah. should do it. In fact, I encourage. Hey, listen. Viewers at home, go home and masturbate. It's good for your prostate if you're male, and I'm, I'm sure it's good somehow for girls. I don't, oh. I don't know the medicals for it, but... The TV just turned on. I wonder what happens if we just... Nothing. Huh. Uh. Nothing, that's weird. <laughs> ah, son of a bitch! <laughs> uh, you motherfucker! I knew that would happen! <laughs> uh, just, mm. Yeah, I bet you did. Yeah. Motherfucker. I'm stuck on... What am I stuck on? Oh, I thought I could go behind that chair. Nope. Okay, no, that's the front door. We're not... No, turn around. We're not going that way. We need to head down to the basement. Yeah, that's where all the all the good parts of the house are. Yeah. Plus, that's where the arrow balloons are pointing us. To freak me out. Guess what? And why wouldn't we follow the arrow balloons? Remember when I joked earlier about lighting those candles? Yeah. Yeah, they're creepy. I'm glad they didn't light the candles earlier. They are creepy. They don't have to be creepy. They're just creepy in this setting. Like, in this context, you know? That's true. It's all about the ambiance. It is. The same... Well, one second. Just watch this. this It's not a jump scare? Well, I mean, I guess it could have been. It it wasn't. No. Just someone's following her. You know what I was gonna say is this whole thing, like the mountain they're on, mm-hmm. this cabin, like it's all really gorgeous, if not for the horror setting. Yeah. Looking for me? No. No. I don't think you'll have much luck by looking, Samantha. I. You're only going to see what I want you to I see. I don't. I don't like this. And I have quite I'd a be um, way the fuck out of here if Open I were her. Your eyes. You think oh she's a? Uh, Secretly packing heat just under her towel. Is that a euphemism for something? I mean, yes. yeah, dude, you, sh- you should have seen this chick. She was totally packing heat, if you know what I mean. You, you do know what packing heat means, right? Like, like a gun, right? Yeah, like you're carrying a gun. That's that's packing heat. Ah. Yeah, no, I, I, um, I highly doubt it. That towel doesn't look like it has a holster. She's just got one of those little leg holsters. Ten seconds. That would, man, that would have been a fucking plot twist. <laughs> if she, 
If the psych so the psychopath births bursts in right here. And she just like pulls out a gun. Pop 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 he falls dead. She's oh like, shit! Oh. Oh, it's you. Oh. Well, you know, don't try to scare people, maybe. That took way too long for me to aim. I'm distracted. I need to focus. We need to keep Sam from getting captured. Okay, yep. Come on. Okay, so jump. Yep. We don't want to hide yet. Never stop. Never stop. Don't stop. Can't stop, won't Believing. stop. Believing. Oh, that's Oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Do you get captured now? Oh, fuck. I messed up. Run, I don't know. I've never missed that one before. Run, bitch, run! Nope. This is oh. how white people die in movies. Bye, bitch! It looks like that one had no consequence. That's good. Okay. I know there's one to dim the light. Sam, Got it. why are you hiding? But you think she's hiding. Sam, why prolong the inevitable? I'm pretty good at those don't moves. Man, we'll when it stay. comes to not doing anything, David's, David's your man. You yeah. Into thinking you can you want me to just sit and do nothing for don't an extended you know period? Smell you, Sam. Yeah. Man, this game is hard. <laughs> I can smell your fear. Uh, okay, so we're gonna run. <gasps> Flashback. Yeah. We remember there was a baseball bat. And... Boom! Yeah! Oh my god. This is why I like it. Sam. Not only am I a huge fan of... Uh, the towel. The towel. <laughs> yeah, the towel. <laughs> which miraculously has not fallen off yet. Dude, that is the world's strongest talent. Yeah. It's made of Teflon. Um, no, not only am I a big fan of Hayden Panettier, who acts for Sam, um, she's just like, she's a badass character. Yeah. She's also Run. a rock climber. In real life? No, the character. Well, oh. I don't know about the actress, but Sam in this game, she is a rock climber, and you have several opportunities to show your skills off. Oh. Oh, wow, I see right there. What you were talking about earlier with the bird thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, uh, if the bird had attacked us, our wound would have reopened right there, and we would have been leaving a trail of blood for the psychopath to follow. You know, I find that trails of things usually are bad, and I think that's especially true for blood. Yeah. There's never, like, a good context to find a trail of blood. Okay. Okay, so I need to dim my light again, and now I need to hold still again. Don't move. Don't even think about yeah. moving. Don't even look at anything else. Pussy, pussy. That's offensive. All right. We have successfully escaped the psychopath as Sam. Did we save Sam? Yay! For now, although the worst that can happen there is she gets captured. Oh, really? She doesn't get killed. Hey, we got the trophy. Oh, a trophy. I think that's our first trophy, this playthrough. It might be. They don't give you, like, little, oh, you beat chapter one trophies. I told you. Hmm, that's weird. Everything you do has well, nice trophy, David. Thank you. You think this mistake won't have repercussions? Do we get to freak the game out anymore with this? Like, we add more spiders or like bigger scarecrows? No. No, at this point we're locked in. In fact, I don't think we have any more real Q&As with Peter Stormare. He's gonna lecture us here a bit. Um, nothing more about like, oh, what makes you afraid? <laughs> what can just, we do to horrify you? Just out of curiosity. Aha! Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you enjoy what we're doing here, please like our videos and subscribe to the channel. And for even more content, come check out our website at hazardsofmedia.com. See you next time.